Omega piranha, an extinct fish species from the late Miocene, has captivated paleontologists and fish enthusiasts alike since its initial discovery. Known only from fossilized premaxillae and a distinctive zigzag tooth pattern, Mega Piranha offers a fascinating glimpse into the prehistoric waters of South America. First described in 2009, this ancient fish, estimated to have lived around 8 to 10 million years ago in what is now the Ituzengo Formation in Argentina, is thought to have been a formidable predator. With an estimated length of 71 centimeters, or 28 inches, and a weight of about 10 kilograms, or 22 pounds, Mega Piranha would have been considerably larger than modern piranhas, and may have wielded one of the most powerful bites for its size. The holotype specimen, the only known fossil of Mega Piranha, consists of premaxillae with a unique arrangement of teeth that distinguish it from other piranhas. These teeth, organized in a zigzag pattern, reveal an evolutionary bridge between two modern groups of Cerasalmid fish. The piranhas, known for their sharp, cutting teeth and carnivorous diet, and pacus, which have broader, molar-like teeth suited to a more omnivorous or herbivorous diet. Mega piranha's tooth structure suggests that it may have had a versatile diet, potentially incorporating both plant matter and animal prey. This intermediate dentition has led scientists to hypothesize that Mega Piranha represents an evolutionary stage between the dietary habits of today's Pacus and Piranhas, offering clues about how the diverse feeding strategies of modern Sarasalmids might have evolved. While the limited fossil record restricts our understanding of Mega Piranha's full anatomy, the size estimates based on the premaxillae suggest that it was likely one of the larger members of the Sarasalmidae family. For comparison, modern piranhas typically range between 20 and 35 centimeters in length, with the largest known piranha, the black piranha, reaching around 50 centimeters. With mega piranhas estimated length surpassing these figures, it would have been significantly more imposing than its modern relatives. Its size, combined with the formidable dentition, has led many to imagine mega piranha as a powerful predator capable of attacking a wide range of prey. One of the most intriguing aspects of Mega Piranha is its potential bite force. Studies on the Black Piranha, which is renowned for having one of the most powerful bites relative to body size among vertebrates, suggest that Mega Piranha's bite may have been even stronger. Extrapolating from the bite force of modern piranhas, some researchers estimate that Mega Piranha could have exerted a bite force ranging between 270 and 1,000 pounds of force. Such power would have allowed it to pierce through thick flesh and even bone, making it an effective predator of large fish, reptiles, or other prey that inhabited the Miocene rivers and estuaries of South America. This immense bite strength, combined with its sharp, serrated teeth, would have made Mega Piranha a formidable presence in its ecosystem, potentially filling a niche similar to that of modern-day river predators like alligators or certain catfish. The Ituzango Formation, where Mega Piranha was discovered, provides important context for understanding its ecological role. During the late Miocene, this region was characterized by a network of rivers, estuaries, and floodplains that supported a rich diversity of aquatic life. Fossils from this formation include a range of vertebrates such as giant catfish, turtles, crocodiles, and other aquatic and semi-aquatic organisms. Mega Piranha would have shared its habitat with various potential competitors and prey, including other large fish and even early forms of mammals and reptiles that ventured near the water. Its size and specialized dentition would have given it an edge in hunting within this competitive environment, potentially allowing it to exploit a variety of food sources and adapt to shifts in available prey. The discovery of Mega Piranha also sheds light on the evolutionary history of Sarasalmid fish, a group that has fascinated scientists due to its diversity in feeding strategies and dentition. Modern piranhas and pacus, any of several South American freshwater fishes related to the piranha, exhibit significant differences in their diets and jaw structures, with piranhas being predominantly carnivorous and pacus primarily herbivorous. Mega piranha's intermediate dentition, however, suggests that the divergence of these two dietary specializations may have occurred after its time. 
This evolutionary insight helps scientists piece together the story of how dietary adaptations in Serra developed over millions of years, potentially driven by changing ecological conditions and available food sources. Despite the intriguing clues offered by its unique dental structure, much about Megapiranha remains unknown. The lack of additional fossilized remains, particularly of its skull, body, and fins, limits what scientists can infer about its exact morphology, swimming abilities, and overall lifestyle. As a result, researchers have had to rely on comparisons with modern relatives, including both piranhas and pacus, to make educated guesses about its appearance and behavior. Until more fossils are discovered, Mega Piranha remains a tantalizing mystery in the fossil record, an incomplete but captivating puzzle that invites speculation about what other adaptations it might have possessed. The significance of Mega Piranha extends beyond its impressive bite and potential predatory behavior. It serves as a reminder of the complex evolutionary pathways that fish have taken over millions of years. The presence of such a large, toothy fish in the rivers of Miocene South America challenges us to consider the myriad ways life has adapted to different environments and dietary niches. The transition from the versatile mega piranha to the more specialized piranhas and pacus we see today exemplifies how evolutionary pressures shape species to fill specific ecological roles. Mega piranha's formidable size, unique dentition, and estimated bite strength suggest that it was likely an apex predator in the late Miocene ecosystems of South America. As an apex predator, Mega Piranha would have occupied the top tier of the food chain, playing a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance within its habitat by regulating populations of prey species. Mega Piranha's position as an apex predator would have also influenced the structure of its ecosystem. By preying on smaller fish, reptiles, and other aquatic animals, it likely kept these populations in check, preventing any one species from becoming overly dominant. Apex predators like Mega Piranha play an important regulatory role, creating balance within food webs and supporting a diverse range of species. Without predators to limit their numbers, prey populations can grow unchecked, leading to overgrazing or depletion of certain resources, which in turn affects other species dependent on those resources. Through its predatory habits, Mega Piranha would have helped stabilize its environment, shaping the ecosystem in subtle but crucial ways. The zigzag tooth pattern in Mega Piranha's jaw also suggests an adaptive advantage that would support its role as an apex predator. Unlike the teeth of modern piranhas, which are arranged in a single line optimized for slicing, the zigzag pattern in Mega Piranha's teeth may have allowed for a more versatile bite. This configuration would have enabled it to both pierce and hold on to prey, granting it the ability to handle a variety of animals. The dual functionality of its teeth likely meant that Mega Piranha could switch between targeting small, agile fish and larger, tougher prey, making it a flexible and opportunistic hunter. This adaptability would have been invaluable for survival as an apex predator, allowing it to exploit any available food source in its environment. While the fossil record of Mega Piranha remains limited, comparisons to other apex predators provide further insight into its likely behavior. Modern apex aquatic predators, such as alligator gar and certain species of large catfish, exhibit ambush tactics, lurking in dense cover before striking swiftly at unsuspecting prey. It is plausible that Mega Piranha employed similar hunting strategies, using stealth to surprise its prey before delivering a devastating bite. This ambush approach, combined with its powerful bite, would have made it a formidable predator capable of taking down prey with minimal struggle, conserving energy for subsequent hunts. The lack of natural predators would have also contributed to Mega Piranha's status as an apex predator. Its size and strength meant that it was unlikely to be targeted by other aquatic animals, even large crocodilians or ancient birds that might have preyed on smaller fish. Juvenile Mega Piranha may have been vulnerable to predation, but adult specimens would have been capable of defending themselves against most threats in the late Miocene environment. In this respect, Mega Piranha's only significant challenge would have been environmental changes, such as fluctuations in water levels or shifts in available prey, rather than predation pressures. Mega Piranha's dominance in its ecosystem can be seen as an early example of the predator-prey dynamics that continue to shape modern aquatic ecosystems. 
Its role as a top predator likely created a selection pressure on prey species, favoring those with effective defensive adaptations, such as harder scales or more elusive behaviors. This predator-prey interaction would have contributed to evolutionary changes in both Mega Piranha and its prey, fostering an ecological arms race that drove adaptations on both sides. Apex predators like Mega Piranha exert evolutionary pressures that promote the development of diverse traits among prey species, enhancing the biodiversity of the ecosystem. While the lack of a complete fossil record leaves questions about Mega Piranha's full behavior and appearance, what we do know suggests that it was well suited for life at the top of the food chain. Its powerful bite, flexible diet, and large size indicate that it was a highly effective predator capable of influencing the structure of its environment in profound ways. As scientists continue to discover new fossils and refine their understanding of prehistoric ecosystems, Mega Piranha remains a symbol of the power and mystery of ancient aquatic life.